Uh, looks like we have gone live here, DJC. Talk me through some Highlander strategy here. What can I expect to see? Oh, sh <laughs> oh the common <laughs> defensive strategy. For <laughs> Deep breath. Get this right. man a, a brown paper bag. He's going to ventilate. So Abe Lincoln is going to put his... This is the typical spot where Abe Lincoln, for Guinea Force, is putting his sentry gun up on the hill here. It denies the jumpers. It keeps medics safe. Um, you're going to see the general strategy will be to cluster around that area, keep heals coming to you from the medic overseer who is hopefully going to be able to stay alive, <clears throat> has her sentry heavy and pirate defender, but the big playmaker here at the start, Cadis has become rather notorious for doing a little something special with the Olipole Caber, one of the favorite weapons of pub players, and he has it ready right now. He's got that sticky jumper, we're going to watch Cadis launch out the gates. Why don't you take it away? I saw a clip of it, man. I'm, I'm checking out here. He places three stickies. He's going to go for that long, long jump. He has gone by and he's been spotted as well, so I guess somebody's going to be waiting for this. How will this timing work? He's just sitting here. So Here he comes! Sky high! He's, he's going! Oh, he is the Uber. Oh, great play by this there. Didn't get the kill, but gets the pop. Is going to crater and die in the end, but that means that Guinea Force probably going to have to give this up without an Uber. It's very hard to defend this first point. Becomes exceedingly difficult. Their gun is going back up. They have maintained that. Uh, so it's not going to be easy by any means for the European squad SNSC, especially with Joseph Hall getting body shot here. We will see that the medic is starting to move. But knows meanwhile losing the 1v1 in that tunnel area. Kate is going to be taking this Uber. He's going to be moving in as aggressively as he possibly can. Up onto the medic, gets the gun down. Oh, she's going to get domed by Vic. Kate will take the gun down, and that should be the capture of the first point. A few stragglers here behind the Pyro and Spy behind for Guinea Force. They're on to the medic here. Sucker is on fire. And I mean that quite literally. Scout comes in just at the end there. Downpour had a chance to pick up the sucker there. Didn't get him in time. And he has survived. Hasn't even dropped a single Uber yet, DJC. I'm just so confused. And that's amazing for a player of the sucker's caliber. We are going to see that Overseer has a late spawn here. And the Uber charge is such a huge thing in Highlander. It's pretty much the most important aspect of Highlander. Linus, meanwhile, going for the big bomb on the heavy hits. Two nice rockets. The third, not going to be so nice. Linus will be taken down, but there is a ton of cap time here. Kate is moving forward aggressively, trying to deny them some area. Is going to die with no Uber, though. Only 35%, and Abe Lincoln not having this sentry gun up. It looks like Europe are uh, dominant so far, James. I'm a little worried. Spy in from behind you. Comes out of spawn, picks up the heavy. That's Alex down. Saba Saba's gone down to a sentry in the meantime. But the sucker does manage to stay alive here, but he's lost his heavy. Will that slow things down, DGC? Is it going to be tough to push without that big fat spinning minigun? On this point, it's very important to have a heavy through this specific area, but I think Cadis wants to take this anyway. He knows they have that advantage. Moving into the pyro, Huey Lewis getting those reflex off. Sticky spam going on to the heavy. Huey is going to get taken down. That gun is still up. Nobody has shot at it yet. Cadis throws one sticky onto it. ALX has re-arrived at the fight. Overseer has her Uber. What will the counter be used here? Dewan is going to take it. He's moving in aggressively onto them. Getting some good spam. Sucker is airborne. Tries to land on the health pack. Is going to crater before he can make it happen. And Guinea Force have come up with a rousing defense here. They have shown the true strength of America. I'm not going to lie, that was a pretty impressive. But those ran in there to try and buy time for his medic and heavy to escape. But Sheep was all over them, man. He just slam dunked them. And right now, it's going to just slow down ever so slightly as both teams, I mean, the attacking team, the Europeans, just listen for that call of the seagull, get their heads back in the game, regroup here, get that charge up, and I guess wait for Saba Saba to make some big plays all the way from his sister's house. I think you need to. I need to think. I think you need to reinvigorate the Europeans. I think they need to hear the bold, brave European seagull. I think he needs to make his return, Admiral. See, I don't want to overdo it, DGC. The seagull is oh! unpredictable. Woo! It is. He just jumped in and like two piped overseer, and she died. And woo, that European. Demo man's a real That was bad English. That was terrible. But Cadis got a big play. And now full advantage in favor of the sucker. Never mind! Ooh, damn. Frank West uh, currently typed up, tagged up as Japan is a type of oh. Europe. Is going to take down the sucker. TG3. TGC's going through some sort of uh, mental episode here, I think. But uh, we did see Cadis swoop in there on Seagull's wings to get that big medic pick. The counter pick came in, though. And... Right now, it's going to be an equal uber battle. No one opting to run crits Creek here. Why don't they run crits so often in uh, Highlander DGC? What's the theory behind that? 
Uh, it works really well on some maps, King of the Hill maps, 5 TP maps. The sucker down once again. Max just gonna headshot him down the tracks here. Um, but the real problem with crit streak on attack defense is that you have no reliable way to deal with the sentry gun. If you crit, Max makes it a double. Oh, as I'm just talking about sentry guns and random dumb things, Max is gonna go on a big spree. He just bombed uh, in again there and failed, man. He got one pipe onto the medic but couldn't find the second. I think they're getting a little desperate here. I was quite confident for Europe after uh, Ginyu Force failed to sort of hold the roof on the second point and had to back and off, Frank but right now West. things have just really slowed down, man. Frank West finds the teleporter, stands at it, waits for the demo man to come through and takes Cadis down. Saba Saba has not been uh, on the board quite so much as Frank. So he's going to get spotted out here. Scout is on him, trying to get those revolvers out, but it's not going to matter. The rollers from Dewatt will take him down. And you know whose name we haven't said very much either? Tvik, the man who is streaming this match, the man who told us we need to tell people about him. He's going to eat that headshot from Max, the double headshot. He's going to go down. Europe's finest sniper can't even handle an American admirable. How does that feel? Let me just uh, warm up the old excuse train here. Uh, I'd like to point out that there's a significant ping difference here, DJC. I'm not sure if you noticed, Tvik's playing <laughs> on at least 100 milliseconds, whereas Max is also playing on 100 milliseconds. Oh my god, god Max. Damn it. <laughs> Max is doming kids left and right. Tvik will finally get his revenge here. But look at Frank West. Japan is a type of Europe. He's doing his play. He's disguised as soldier. He's walking right behind the other soldier. Wisely backs off of that. Saba Sab is actually in all the way behind as well, but no real angle he can take here. I think the Uber's going to come in yet. Yeah, SNSC are going to pop this. They're going to get the gun. The dispenser, the nest is down. It's really not going to matter, though. They have to back this off. The jump is coming in from above from Cadis. He's getting spam on the medic forces over here. Back. what Knight is dead here. Oh, dear. Guinea, we've lost a lot of... Yeah, again, you flagged a lot of people there to try and get that medic pick. Sucker managed to survive uh, front stab there from Frank, but there was too many people committed to that, I feel, and they've just lost a lot of bodies right now, and the cart is rolling <laughs> forward slowly but surely for Europe. Max with another headshot onto Tfeek. He's going to be getting mad. He doesn't remain calm under this sort oh of pressure. Take it from me. He's headshot, like, Droso, Tvik, and Alex, like, three separate times now, all together in a nice little row. Max is on fire right now. He is carrying the Ginyu Force squad on this defense. This time is by no means terrible uh, for SNSD, and they're really good at attacking the last point of Badwater, which is where a lot of teams seem to struggle. Um, so we'll have to see what they can pull off here. Tvik's going to actually get the kill onto Max. So that will open up pretty much everything. It should be Cadis and ALX's time to shine. They're going to try and take this through window. There is a pyro there. Huey spots it out. He's going to drop out instantly. I don't think they know where the gun is. ALX is going to take this. Gets air blasted away. It's just a bait. Cadis drops down. Counter Uber is going to come out from the Ginyu forced Vic. And Buttnose is dead. ALX is going to take down the enemy heavy. And Cadis has bombed up top onto the sniper onto the spawn. He needs to get away. He's going for the big caber kill onto the engineer. Oh, damn. He takes it down the gun and engineer in one strike. Sick. Uh, man, I feel Europe could have been a little bit faster. I don't know how uh, accurate the Uber counting is in Highlander, but they did have a little advantage there. They opted to take that longer out through the window. If they had pushed a little quicker, they might have got that medic pick and it would have been a different story perhaps, but that's the way things panned out. DGC and Europe are struggling to in a decent time here. What's good? Nine, ten minutes? That's That's not great, is it? It's all right. It's acceptable. Uh, SNSC, we're getting some like six. They got a six-minute time and a like thirteen-minute time in their warm-ups, um, so not too terrible if they can stick to like an eight-nine here. But uh, time is ticking away. I think Kate is going for the big bomb play again. He's up at the enemy spawn. He's just baiting. Tries to get away. Oh sheep God, with the man. big. Rock. He got destroyed there. Sheep <laughs> is a fantastic soldier. Cadis, the play was read so well by Sheep, and he was taken. That We've seen Cadis make a lot of plays, but none are going to come there. That Uber is now up for the SNSD European squad. What can they do? Will they have to take this window route again, or will they find themselves another way in? Tvik! Tvik finally gets Max. This is a sign. It's the inspiration of the seagull right there. I see Saba Saba making his way through the back here. He's getting in position for some big play. I sense massive European push on the way as the Ubers get popped off. Saba Saba's in position. The sentry's actually been taken out. No gun here, and... Europe retreating up top to the high ground, actually distracting a lot of these North American players. Ginyu Force uh, looking a little bit shaken up, but they do manage to clean up the combo there, DJC. Just as I was picking up Europe, they go and let me down again. What the hell? But Droso's going to come in and get a double kill taken on the Spy and the Scout. It's not going to matter because Max has headshot him. 
yet again. Will anyone ever even try to stop Max? Vic makes one little peek. It's not going to matter because the body shot comes out. Max at 23 points right now having a hell of a game. He's going to peek on the entryway here down the rail. Has a shot on this heavy. Is going to whiff on it though and the spy is creeping in. I think he's going to have to start focusing Max. He's going and for Max Mike's not running. Some... He's going to oh, Razorback not up for Max. Not running it right now. Saba Saba has opened up a pathway for the Uberless squad. Vic's going to walk in and hitch out the sniper. Going for the he's moving here. to the are it's they gonna like get the it? Lane Overseer already... pops it. Yeah, Overseer did manage to pop in the end there, so the SNSD made a strong push. Uh, they're gonna lose Sheep and Frank West here. They were already down two players. Spawns are coming. SNSD do not have a huge Uber percentage right now. They're gonna need to find some way to move off of this though, because time is ticking away. Six and a half minutes to go. They're not in dire straits quite yet, but it is getting low enough that they're going to have to start using, uh, finding a bigger advantages and using them much more aggressively than they have. DJC, you know one thing I haven't said enough so far in this cast? You mentioned him in the pregame. Son of the butt nose. What a great name. But <clears throat> Lord butt nose. Having an unspectacular game. That's kind of what you do on Pyro. You don't really make the huge plays. Uh, speaking of, he's going to take down the spy. Big plays from Buttnose saving him the round. Kate is going to move in on the sentry gun. Gets good spam on him at all because of Buttnose's great pick. They get the gun late and take the high ground. They have the enemy spawn controlled here with four players. And I don't think Ginyu forces have ever really had to deal with this situation. Kate is going to bomb the sniper. They know how important it is. Three players commit to killing Max. He will go down eventually. They all have the high ground. Kate is getting good spam. Here comes the bomb from Linus onto the demo man. Duat is taking a ton. He's He's gonna go down. That shotgun comes out to take down sheep as well. Linus Uber is comes fighting in. the spy in the corridor. The Uber's gonna be popped off by Ginyu Force here onto the heavy. What can they really find out? The sucker is alone at the cart. TM4 is gonna focus him down. Linus gets the equalizer kill, the escape plan kill rather, and is now fighting the pyro and uh, scout here. TM4 is cleaned up by the incoming Joseph. All the spy is gonna stab Huey Lewis. There is so much going on right now. Buttnose launches a scout into the air, and ALS is gonna clean him up like skeet shooting right. Oh man, not ski plates, plates. That's mm, different word, different way. Woo, dads, go take it away. Remove <laughs> Max respawns just in time to take down that heavy. Alex was maybe the last hope in terms of a big damage dealer there on that push, but right now it is a little uber advantage for Ginyu Force. I'm not sure if it's gonna matter too much as uh, maybe it'd just be time to start pushing in non uber with this clock ticking down ever so much. What would your uh, strategy be, DTC? It does it come a point? Or it's better to push without Uber, or is it always just worth waiting for that charge? Uh, it's usually worth waiting for the charge early. Once time starts ticking away, you gotta make your own magic happen. Abe Lincoln has relocated a sentry gun. I think he's trying to move it back up to the front lines here because uh, the one thing that can really work is if the gun's not in an ideal position and you're on the attacking team, you can really find some entryways in, get some nice damage off, try and force that medic early, try and kill the medic maybe because there's no gun to deny you. We are gonna see the sucker's Uber is alive. Cadis is going to go back and heal up, get some ammunition. They're going to see another push coming in very shortly here from the SNSD boy. I just saw downpour Humiliate and Linus there on the flank, dancing around on top of those tires on the left side. Soldier on scout action. Linus did not come out on top, and that means there's going to be no bombing action here as the Ubers come in. Counter Uber popped here from Ginyu Force. Gun has gone down though. But Alex has separated from his medic, Cadis and the Sucker have positioned themselves up top yet again, but this hasn't worked for them so far. And they're struggling, now they're going to back out a little bit, and they have so many picks coming though. in. Five down for Ginyu Force right now, SNSD in a solid position, they have lost their heavy up Ginyu Force. Spawn waves are coming though, the Sucker gets cleaned up by Huey Lewis, TF2, star pyro of the North American scene and America. We're in dire straits, but that is when America fights its hardest. That's when it's at its strongest, admirable. They no doubt got some inspiration from the American bald eagle. And Europe right now seems to be lacking in its seagull. I was just watching Saba Saba there. He was waiting up top, dropped down. I'm not sure if Huey heard it or not, but he made that little uh, crater sound. Turned around and flashed him. Caught him with the flame there. And that was unfortunate because I had the feeling he was going to make some big plays. But curse of the caster, DJC. As soon as I see him, he fails. And right now... It looks like the Europeans are hemorrhaging players. SNSD are four down right now. They're getting a little bit desperate. They're trying to get the force off here. Trying to go for Overseer, but they've lost suckered. their own medic. This is desperate. Desperate. It's time for Europe, man. I don't know what to do, DJC. Foster's like the great American hero. Comes in late. Uh, like, fuck, what was that basketball player's name? Mmm, this happened before. 
in basketball, as you can tell by the fact I'm referencing it. Anyway, he comes in late, comes in back from his hockey game, shows up, just two shots to Medic, the sucker down, Foster not even going to take any time to get back into the swing of things. Tick is going to get a kill onto Max, but is it going to matter? Look at this coordination on the flank from Sheep and Foster. Sheep gets a kill on Joseph Al. Foster moves in and takes down Vic, and SNSD looking overwhelmed in this first round of PL Badwater. Uh, that basketballer you're referring to, I think it must be uh, Babe Ruth, with my knowledge of American sports is anything to go by DJC, huh? Any good? <laughs> right now we see Linus, Alex go down, Kadis as well, and still no force on the overseer. He's just hiding underneath there, within sight of the cart, but well protected by the rest of the mini force. I'm watching uh, Zub getting a little bit aggressive on the engineer, but he backs off. And uh, Tavik is up top in the window there, in that sniper spot, but not having any luck. He's trying to do battle here. With you see Sheep's gonna jump up to the window and deny him. Uh, Tick is locked in, Sheep's gonna hit himself with a rocket ball. Foster rushes in on the sniper, Tick is dead. And your Swedish superstar, your crack clan teammate is not finding any action so far here. The Uber's gonna be popped off from SNSD, they got nothing on that gun. He's gonna actually, Kadis gets air headshot! And then cleaned up by the sentry gun of one Abe Lincoln. Cadis's one route to perfection that jump to the spawn not been at all successful Huey Lewis trying to get on the flank on the medic but butt nose is here he is going to try and save the sucker's life Huey gets pincered in by Joseph Al, the Belgian working his magic there Duwadna will take down the spy and save his own medic's life and Vic finding Max in the face once again bullet meets face and now a 20% advantage here for the sucker could prove to be very magical. Except for the fact that Frank West is onto the card, is going to take down Buttnose Pops, his dead ringer still in position. Going to pull out that ambassador, isn't going to find anything. It looks like SNSD's time to shine up here with 30 seconds left to go in the game. Vic's going to headshot the heavy, it's going to be taken out by Alex. Moving on to the medic now, looking for Overseer. She has to go for the Ubersaw swipe, she's at 64%, she needs two more. She's going to get launched into the sky, taken out with a body shot. Sheep is onto the card, he's going to get home to Vic. Max is going to headshot Saba Saba. Duwanda is up, he's eating those pipes from Cadis right now though. Oh Oh my god, Duwatt is going to live and take him down, but it's not going to matter, but look at that time. 16 minutes and 7 seconds, that is... Solid Ooh, time, great time, you're good Well done, well done, you're <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good while, admirable. Um, yeah. How does that make you feel as a European to know that your country did you proud? Ooh, wiping the sweat from my massive bro, DJC. Uh, I'm proud of SNSD that <laughs> they managed to save a little bit of face there, but uh, let's just put this first round down to, you know, warm up, you know, they want to get a feel for the ping here, they're trying to acclimatize themselves to these uh, less than perfect North American conditions, so uh, yeah, it's going to be a long game, DJC, they're going to have, they are, they're not going to have to, they are going to hold out here more the full time, then they're going to win another round after that, so... Uh, <sighs> Time to get some coffee in, man. Need that caffeine fix. It's going to be a long, long cast. Yeah, uh, we were an hour in so far. 17 minutes of that has been actual casted TF2 action. Uh, but I would expect after the dominance we saw from Guinea Force on that first round that they will push forward with the American flag in their hearts and in their minds and they will make this round short and sweet. Going to see what kind of play they do here. If it's going to be a suicide attempt on the medic, Sheep's going to move out, going to start going through that underneath. They're going to walk it through the tunnel here. Dewan is getting free spam onto the people he can see. And this is it. Vic's going to go down, so no sniper. The scout has spotted this out. Linus with the rotation going to drop down and start spamming Duwatna and Sheep. This suicide play is not going to work at all, but Max headshots the sucker. No Uber. Suck it. You're Was it a drop? Was it a drop, DJC? Can you confirm? Is that our first he got sucker drop? He got headshot. That, that uh, counts. On defense. <laughs> it counts. drop. The sucker. First of many. Linus comes in from behind the car to try and pick up Engineer and Scout, but is unsuccessful. This Foster guy, pretty decent man, shuts him down instantly. I imagine that's not the European Foster, Rory Foster, Foster land legend. But I, I'm looking at another legend, none other than your boy Frank. Goes forward as Spy, but gets too much damage there, has to retreat to the cart to pick up a little bit of sweet love and healing there. Now he's going to work his way up to Roof. He is... Just take it down there, as I say it though, DJC. Finds the sticky trap of Kadis. And it looks like the rest of North America. Ginyu Force are coming up on the flank here. They've got that Uber Charge. Sucker doesn't have his yet. They're going to pick up 
No, Frank, no. so far? <laughs> but knows, but knows the legendary European hero with those sick air blasts saved his team. Sucker is now on 95%, but they are pinched in this hallway. They have Cadus, Alex, and but knows there with them. But what will the counterattack be? That pop is going to come. Cadus dies instantly into the trap. TM4 is going to clean up Alex on the roll here, taking down Huey Lewis as well. And he is going to reset in position. Overseer actually went down there. Uh, I did not see how. But that means that the sucker, despite his CP1 Uber drug, will have the advantage. But not if Max has anything to say about it. He's peeking in through the flank. Oh, Max is well possessing here. I can't expect that anyone from SNSD is going to expect him. But knows again, binds him though. This guy is just playing Woo! out his skin. Calls out to Tafik, who does finally get a head start onto Max. He's just been hogging the show here, man. Just typical Americans. Stealing the <laughs> limelight. Wow. The egotism wow. runs deep. Uh, we see right now that slim advantage for the sucker. What's it gonna matter? Duana's gonna go in for the big bomb play. Gets Zoo the engineer. Double stab from Franklin West. Cadis and the sucker down. Oh dearie me, oh my, James. What happened to your European combo? They seem to have disappeared into thin air. Lordy, lordy. Uh, this is just all part of the plan. Is all I can say, DJC. I have complete confidence in SNSD's ability to win this round and hold out on a perfect defense here but right now they're just beating them in they look at this great force they popped the uber off here they're beating them into the trap here man the trap is sprung get ready to die north america the sucker getting killed by <laughs> huey lewis who makes it a triple onto Cadis the sucker and joseph isle trap sprung the sucker fell into his own Check device me, after north creating. america booyah <laughs> <laughs> The king is trapped in a corner from Europe, and their great counterplay is to push their king over and concede. <laughs> Everyone is dead. 60% Uber for Ginyu Force right now. And I have to give a shout out to Franklin West, the spy for Ginyu Force, his amazing name right now. Coming forward, you carry me home. Swing low. DDC, um, I, I'd say this is just part of the SNSD plan, to be honest. You know, they had a, a pretty poor round. They're not going to wait too long here. They're just going to give this round away for free. They're going to play hard on the second round, though. Yeah, I'm sure that's the European plan, James. They're going <laughs> to give them give a little fake out. Don't show them your true strats. you got to hold off until you absolutely desperately need them because executing strategies you've never used when under great pressure is going to work so well. Uber was popped off here from Guinea Force. Did not do a whole lot. In fact, they lost Sheep Max and Foster. Dewan is going to make something happen. We'll take down Fick there, but is killed. But look at Frank West. He's lurking in that corner. SNSD are distracted. But knows is pushing out here Huey Lewis drop try to go for the medic and Frank West wants this kill right now he's looking on the medic the ambassador is gonna go he's not gonna get him oh he gets launched away but knows coming in at the last second there and overseer has only five percent uber right now after being killed by but knows uh, so the pyro the man with the awful name the man who is a butt with a nose uh, he's making it happen but knows, I think he might be a distant relationship, a distant relation of shit wizard. Uh, some of those great European nicks. But he is uh, actually playing pretty decent now. Maybe, in fact, schooling Huey Lewis on how to play Pyro. Am I being too bold here? Can I salvage that one for Europe? Do we have a better Pyro? I don't think so. Huey oh, was kind of the greatest. Give me, give me a break, is going to get back to Coming forward, you carry me home. Cleaned up by b b b butt nose. Zoob is going to take down sheep. Uh, that Uber was popped off by the sucker and Cadis and Buttnose are now dead, so the combo is significantly weakened, but Line is gonna walk in and two shot Duwadna with them rockets. Gonna jump into the flank here onto the soldier, but sheep! Ooh, 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 ooh. He killed him real good, and Max gets a headshot as well. She makes it a double on the flank onto Drosophile. The sucker has no Uber, there are only four alive. The sucker is separated from his squadron. And what will Europe do in this situation? Admirable, what is the European last line of defense? Zoo was taken down by the flanking soldier. Oh dear, admirable, it's not looking good for your uh -oh. boys. Saba Saba's on the flank here. He opts to Saba Sentry though, rather than make some play around the cart. He's trying to take out that uh, teleporter. He feels that would be most beneficial to his team, but it's getting really hairy here. Near that final point, it's about to blow up. I'm terrified, DJC. Come on, SNSD, you can do it. Think of the seagull. 
The seagull, the great seagull, the call you refuse to give. Everyone is dead. There are four players alive for SNSD. They have a mini sentry up. Zub is taking a ton of damage. There are players on the card. Buttnose and the spy. Saba Saba trying to make this save. ALX is in position as well. There is a sniper spawn coming very shortly. Can Thick be the hero? Max is in position. Looking at this engineer is going to be shooting towards him. The big soldier bomb from Sheep is going to find his way into the lower ground here. Cleaned up by ALX. We are down to maybe the last moments of this. The card is so close. Linus is in that room fighting the scout. Foster's going to get domed by Fix. Fix trying to peek here. Onto the pyro, onto the heavy, onto the medic. He's getting pressured on the shock, but it's not going to matter. The back cap <laughs> by the spy. Okay. That's Big my play. reaction. Big play from Frank. I'm confused. Frank West is saving it. And that's the first round of this to Ginyu Force. Ginyu Force rules. I'll just uh, I'll just play the sound effect real quick so you guys can understand the true glory and majesty of America. Yeah, Ginyu Force rules. Uh, so right now, we're going to figure out whether or not teams want to make this a best of one or a best of three. Uh, see if they want to play two more rounds of Badwater, potentially, or if they just want to move on to the mix. Is there some sort of debate here? Or is a round actually one attack and one defense? Uh, a round is one attack, one defense. Badwater generally is played as a best of three in Highlander, but, you know, time is going to be of the issue for the Europeans here as it's getting rather, rather late at night uh, for some of the further east ones. So we'll see what the decision is going to be here to continue playing on. And it looks like SNSD want to play best of three. So your boys, your Europeans, stepping up. They do not want to concede this map. They want to keep fighting, Admirable. Does that fill you with pride? Absolutely. I told you, man. It's just part of the plan. We had a little bit of a slip up in the first round. Maybe underestimated these North Americans ever so slightly. But now we're, uh, we're warmed up. We've done our research. We've got everything we need to defeat them. Ginyu Force will soon be falling to SNSD over the next two rounds. I have complete confidence, DJC. Do you really? I do. You know who we haven't heard in a while? It seemed like uh, one of the things that happened as Ginyu Force started their domination on this map, Jimmy, the seagull that you were so proudly proclaiming, that European bird of majesty who dips into the ocean and pulls out the stray fish, <clears throat> he seems to have been dead for uh, the entire map. The spirit of Europe seems to be gone. Where has it disappeared to, Adam? Seagull is just uh, circling around, waiting for its moment to strike DJ, so you'll know when the Seagull enters the fray. You will, <laughs> there will be no uncertainty as to when the Seagull has returned for Europe. I haven't heard that eagle it in a while either, man. That bat sound you have. That <laughs> bat bat? You want to hear the eagle again? Do you really want to be intimidated once again? What? Is there a bat in my room? Majestic eagle. Did I leave a window open here? <laughs> Some sort of sock puppet. <laughs> That is, I assume, a young American bald eagle. Probably a little baby American eagle, but one day he'll grow, he'll defend our flag. Nobody's there to defend your flag, James. Is there even a European flag, that dumb thing with the circle of stars? <laughs> wow, I know another dumb flag that's got stars. We have Star Spangled Banner. Though. Oh, James, you're going to insult our anthem now. You're going to go there. You're really going to take it there. I'm burning an American flag right now, and a Canadian one, just for good measure. TM4 it's is getting pretty highly <laughs> offended. hard to breathe in here. Whew. Oh man, the smoke probably filling up the room. No <laughs> totally worth no, it! <laughs> no, no wonder the seagull's dead, you suffocated him with black <laughs> fucking smog. <laughs> okay. Dear I've been put in my place by the the display here from Ginyu Force, you know, I, I'm starting to doubt Europe. I'm looking to the, the Twitch TV chat by European uh, countrymen, continent men, to just re-inspire me. I need to feel the love for Europe here. Let me see on the Twitch TV chat who believes that Europe can come back here. Who believes in SNSD? I need to see it. Show me those EU <laughs> signs. Throw them up. Someone in chat raised a good point, Admirable. Do you currently find yourself? Are you, uh. Can you not breath this act? 
<laughs> I cannot breathe this air. Oh yes, and I cannot breathe this air. We're just gonna make awful TF2, TF2, TF2 in jokes that nobody's gonna get. We're gonna see the team swap sides for the second round of PL Badwater. Currently, it is one to nothing in favor of Glorious America, the God-led e team. E Can you for EU, EU. That's what I see on uh, Twitch TV chat. That was just a dramatization by me of what I'm reading here, DJC. That may be what's in the chat, but in game, what we saw was 16, 16, 16, is in the amount of time it took SNSD to cap all the points of this map, and then they got destroyed with about a seven minute time from SNSD's first offense. What will the second go? With SNSD as the trendsetters this time, do you think it will go any differently? Do you think that SNSD right now have a chance? To yeah, well, I actually have it on good authority that Saba Saba's sister was playing for him in that last round. So hopefully we're going to see the real Saba Saba here. And some big plays. Putting Frank West in his place, to be quite frank. I'm sick of this guy already, DJC. I don't know how you can hate Frank West, considering <laughs> he's currently named This One's for Capital. God loves capitalism. Glory be in the highest. Uh, we're going to see SNSD making their initial probes here. Going to be moving in. Sheep is all the way behind with some sick, nasty rocket jumps. He's going to come in late to this fight. We will see what is probably a suicide Come on, to Vic. Suck it, Max. EU, Vic takes EU, down Max. EU, Do one is in behind, though, getting that good spam up top. Those stickies are coming down. Kate is going to give up the high ground here. And where is Sheep? Is he just spawn camping right now? That may be the play from him. Duana has backed off. Vic is now watching this tunnel here. Sheep's going to take down the teleporter, so no reinforcements. And Europe are going to be lacking in their second wave of fighters here. Tvik on fire so far. He's toggled that aimbot on. Yeah, I said it. Three headshots in his... Uh, actually, four, I believe, in this round so far. He is taken out by the combination of Frank West and Du... That's how Americans do it with teamwork. But no, Saba Saba's going to miss the Stabba Stabba. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was watching some ambassador snipe in there from Frank West. Fairly impressive. Did manage to take down Tvik. As you said, now the Ubers have come in and Max has free reign here. Manages to zone Zub and Foster picks up Droso in the process. It's mm, there's damage coming out to the gun here as well. Look at Duwana getting pressured out by Saba Saba though. He still manages to pick up the gun and SNSD are running for the hills. Yeah, SNSD are heading for the hills here, but look at this Linus and Buttnose in making the big plays. Linus gonna go. Oh, Max took down a sucker. Yeah, America. Not bad, not bad. Pretty decent. Okay. It's, it's like a poor man's tweak. A poor man's tweak. <laughs> Fuck that, says Max. He just took down your damn stupid <laughs> Tweak is dead, uh, thanks to the headshot of Max. And after doing that, whatever the hell I just did to make that call, <laughs> we see that 60% Uber advantage in favor of Ginyu Force. SNSD don't even have a roof defense set up. And look at Huey Lewis, the wise sage. Gonna move forward. They're gonna hold them out of the spawn here. This is gonna be a free second point for the Ginyu Force boys, barring an absolute miracle. But look at this. ALX Drosophile are stuck up top on this roof here. Max is gonna make that change. Takes down ALX and Admirable. What is your hope here? Is it the fact that Sabba Sab is in behind the enemy team right now? Yeah, I'm watching him here. This delightful wall hack plug in. He's just uh dancing around. Oh the scout draws attention towards him though he almost got just tagged by that buckshot, maybe has been brought to the attention of Ginyu Force, but he's working that the long con here, this slow game. Inching forward ever so surely ops to sap the teleporter? I don't know much about Spy DJC, but was that what they needed right there? No, it's not, but that close range headshot by Max on a Joseph file was beautiful. We're gonna see the Uber coming out here from Cadis and the boys. He and Alex moving forward. Cadis holding down from W to spam and stick. He's gonna get domed by Maximilian the Great Sniper for Ginyu Force. Sheep is in on the cart though. Look at how much time they have got on this cart. In that Uber, 50% Uber right now for Overseer. And Buttnose and Alex have to regroup. They have to back up. They have to get heals. They need to re-push this if they want to hold this cart. But their health is atrocious. Look at Alex. He's going man mode, peeking around the corner with seven health but that cap is going to be earned here by abraham lincoln one of the greatest heroes in the history of america he freed the slaves uh yeah this is true but he was played by a european actor that won an oscar so you know who is the greater man the greater continent clearly europe you see my logic here djc but right now I, the overseer has gone down <laughs> Max is peeking around the corner right now, gonna get that sentry gun moving over, looking for the demo man, isn't gonna find him. Max is scoping still. 
Finds the sentry once again. Headshot on the Vic. Max is still staring it down. Gonna pop off a shot towards the heavy meta combo. They're gonna move into the map room here, fighting off the spy. Gonna pull out that scope. Takes down Saba Saba. He's gonna peek out the window now. Max gonna get a shot onto the medic here. Is not gonna hit it. He's gonna look out the window. He's going He's for the hero! Oh, 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 oh my god, man! Unbelievable. The sucker type's nice one in there. The true gentleman, European gentleman, even when best at gracious in defeat. That's what I'm going to take away from that DJC. That was unbelievable. Woo! Max. Me. <laughs> Damn. 70% Uber advantage right now for Overseer off of Max's insane play. Moan of <laughs> silence for our fallen comrade, the sucker. Another Uber dropped. Uh, <laughs> Two right <rumors> there. Drop. <laughs> USA, 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 USA. It's looking grim here for the Europeans. Cadis bombs in, manages to take down the little mini sentry and his opposite number, Duatna. He has just about escaped as well. And right now, SNSD will hold on for a few seconds longer, but are they just. Prolonging the inevitable DJC. I've also turned out some serious doubts here. It's weak onto Sheep though at the same time. And I'm trying to find out where it is, Frank. He's gonna get headshot by Tvik as well. Tvik trying oh! to counter Max. He gets a headshot on an overseer. Damn it! That's my boy. Go on, Kev. Kevin Lindstrom here. Go on. <laughs> Beast mode. <laughs> Um, <laughs> save it, save it, SNSD from the embarrassment of like a six minute time here. But you know, Overseer's got her spawn, and we have seen Max go a little bit crazy before. Will we see it for a second time, James? Can we see magic happen? Joseph is going to be the first casualty. Max is peeking out. Doesn't see anyone right now. I think they have wised up and started hiding. Kate is going to walk forward and spam them stickies. Max is going to die. Soldier's going to jump up into the sawmill here. The map room, not the sawmill. That's a different map. Take down the spy. Overseer only at 20%, and SNSD looking rather solid right now. Yeah man, this is going to be the longest seven minutes of your casting career as SNSD hold out for the ultimate glory. The cart is slowly but surely pushing back up the hill here and the Uber's been forced as well. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's going to be Cadis and the Sucker pushing forward here to see what they can get done. Can they find uh, that opposite number? Overseer with 80% charge here. Haven't managed to get that medic pick but they have Force them back a little bit, it's going to be up to Saba Saba or maybe to Vic to do something about this uber differential. We need a big play right now for Europe. Need the huge play, but Saba Saba is not in position. SNSD are not looking. <coughs> Duwadna is moving through the map room right now, going to juggle the spy up. Big sticky drop here from Kiris. Oh, everybody's they flashed drop out of the window. It's just a mini sentry. Duwadna spamming everything. The sucker and ALX are caught in that map room only at 60%. Kate is going to rotate up top. Look at the big cleanup from TM4. But Kate just walks in and pipes the medic. Overseer is dead. But knows an ALX versus three people defending their medic right now. Duwadna is going to get domed at the end of that fight. Sheep is going to walk in and die. And ALX takes down that heavy who is trying to play the hiding game. Maximilian comes in. And he's one in a million, folks. Another headshot on Tvik at 25 points. Max is crushing kids right now, Jimmy. And how do you think Europe feels? They ain't scared, man. We're never scared. I'm just checking out the action on the flank, though. We see Droso on the <laughs> Foster. <laughs> DK is just destroyed by another sick headshot from Max. He finds Tvik as well, Max. So much. He's toggled <laughs> again. These American cheaters. Oh my god, Uber comes in here. It's gonna be. B -b 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 oh, what the hell is Max doing? He shot everybody in the face. Look at this pyro trying to get aggressive. Butt nose couldn't even hit the axe. Extinguish at melee range. It's up to somebody to save it. Tvik has gotten his spawn. He's gonna have to deal with Max though. And so far, that has been a losing proposition for the SNSD boys. Sucker is forced back into spawn here. Linus with a big bomb. And the here is gonna force that Uber off. And look at Frank West in onto the combo, distracting them, keeping them back. Max is scoped in as well, looking for what he can find. Cadis has dropped down behind the cart. Cart is not being pushed currently right now. Max is gonna go for the close range dome on us, Joe. So it's not gonna come. to is taking out by the demo man here. Frank West is camping the spawn. How did they not even push that cart? It's gonna go to the. An 8 minute 19 second time having the first offense from SNSD off of some big sprees from Max and SNSD right now admirable they gotta do it big to win this game they gotta make it happen big play scared coming, man. I ain't scared I just I see something to 
in my periphery of vision, DJC, it might be uh, some sort of seafaring bird circling around here, waiting to swoop in at the opportune moment when Europe needed the most inspiration. But uh, we'll see what happens on that front. I already know what's going to happen on that front, James. I've already seen what the future tells, and do you want to hear what the prophets told me? It's such a killer at the end. <laughs> Go for the badassery, the badassery of Team America and the Guinea Force Rules Anthem, and then just... Indeed. All right, we're just... taking over the, the <laughs> offense here for SNST. Looks like Hello, Kate Max. Is gonna go for... Oh, Max is going to shoot Tvik in the face. Kate is going for the cavers again. He whiffs on his jump a little bit. He's going to have to do a little jumpsy doo, a little dipsy doo up in the air, flying sky high. Didn't get anything done. He has to retreat to his spawn. Look at this. The Europeans running away from a fight. The Uber got forced. Linus with the clutch play is going to come in and make it rain and overseer with no uber here comes the launched engineer zoom sky high <laughs> okay then alrighty <laughs> that uber uh, force all important right now they need to try and neutralize max or it's going to be uh, an inevitable drop from the sucker I feel I see uh, Frank West standing here on the slope he's got the sucker in his sights he's biding his time Communicating position to his team as he moves in behind. He's going for that all-important medic pick. He's got nothing else on his mind. The Uber's come in though. Now he's gonna maybe switch up for Tavik instead. I actually get spotted by Zub in the end. Unlucky Frank West. That's what's up, America. And Kate is going for the spawn camp here. Not even gonna take the one-on-one. -on -one. Not gonna fight the actual fight. Kate runs away from the battlefield. Is this how you win wars in Europe? Adds admirable. Uh, did you see? I'm a, a lover, not a fighter. And right now, I'm just all about pushing that cart. I don't want to hurt anybody. I just want to see Droso work that cart. Work that cart, Droso. He's sitting on it right now, getting that two times cap going. Duan is going to start the spam off. Cadis has to move in. He has to die to meet up with his team again. Saba Saba once again cannot find the Staba Staba. I'm going to make that joke 30 more times for the rest of this night. And I love it every time we see that the sucker went down to the heavy weapons guy. Uh, so currently the sucker massively behind an Uber and there's six minutes 30 left. Are you feeling the burn yet, James? Is the sweat running down your forehead, down your arms? Is your shirt oh, getting a little bit nasty over there? His head right there as he just got domed by Tavik. That was brutal, man. Oh, that's gonna hurt in the morning, DJC. Again, Droso working that car. We do see Frank. He's going for the backstab here on Tavik. He's just... He's, he's tempting him. Axe goes for the ambassador there. Just uh, a bit of BM. Didn't opt for the backstab, goes for the ambassador kill and gets punished by Drew. Oh my god, no, Cadis! He missed the caber by like seven pixels! But the Uber was forced out there early uh, from Overseer. Had to pop, Sheep's gonna jump back up on the roof, and uh, Guinea Force still have control of the roof right now. They have a nice combination of players scattered between top and the ground floor. SNSD building that Uber hard with their scout. He's whacking himself in the face with that sword, bleeding away. The sucker up to 90%. But look at this, 70% for Overseer, and this building has not really gotten the sucker the advantage he needs. It's Cadis' time to shine. They're going to move in through the lower ground here, going to check their flank. They don't want Franklin West rock jumping as hard to make a pick. But it doesn't matter! The third drop coming out of Sheep's rocket launcher! Oh, damn, sucker. Damn. Damn. Disappointing. I'm, I'm, I'm just welling up here, DTC. I'm lost for words. <laughs> Vic, Vic is going to do his best to save your team with a double headshot, but the cart is still being pushed here by SNSD. All is not lost. Huey Lewis moving and gets that flamethrower off onto Tvik. Takes him down. Saba Saba going to take down TM4. So there are positive things happening here. Overseer's Uber was popped off. They don't know where the enemy combo is, so they're just going to have to maybe give this up. They're holding the roof. They are steadfast in their belief that they can out-DM these Euros. Overseer gets forced off down to his scout. They want to retake this, do they? They're so confused right now. Un oh. I'm sure where to move. Kate is going to die. And look at Franklin West. He's in position. Rock jumping is very hard. You know what's easy? Ambassadors. Baby, he's not going to get him. Oh, God, the mini sentry. Oh, Franklin West spoiled by that damn mini sentry that shouldn't even be in this video game. And no one is pushing the car right now. Oh, actually, there is Sab Saba decides to uncloak at the inopportune moment. The stickies on the wall there weren't dead, at, but Pyro came in and denied him. And right now the battle continues for the roof, but Max has got his beady eye on there. 
and it could spell disaster. Sheep as well, coming in with the bomb here, finds Buttnose, also picks up Linus, though Buttnose reflecting that rocket, but unable to save Linus, who was totally unaware of Sheep's position there on top of his head. These Europeans, man. Uber's gonna be popped off through the choke before Max could headshot the sucker once again. And that means that the counter Uber is up right now for the Overseer. Oh my god, Kadis going for the caper kill under Dewatna is not going to get it. And ALX and Tavik have died. Kadis is extended pretty far. The clear is going to come from Ginyu Force. They're walking forward. That heavy is spun up and holding down his W key. The sucker is going to get killed by Huey Lewis, who is not done yet. Going to get the axe extinguished under Joseph. Ah, as my voice gets real gravelly up in here. Yeah, America. It's a massacre, the man. It is a massacre. The beautiful and the brave. It's very beautiful. <clears throat> Zub, the only man surviving that engagement there on 3 HP as Telly's down. He's not doing anything for his team right now. And SND must be getting desperate now. They need to roll the dice with only three minutes left here on this round, DJC. Um, I'm praying to the mighty seagull of Europe for a little bit of inspiration here. I'm looking for big plays. Is he answering the call? Do we hear the seagull once more, James? Give it to us, baby. I think I'm getting worse than this, CJC. <laughs> it sounded like a seagull being shot out of the sky. Speaking of <laughs> shot out of the sky, A Blinken and Max down to Twig. What big ball! <laughs> <laughs> the cart is rolling forward here for SNSD. As I put a DNR notice on DJC, please kill that guy off. I want nothing but a European monopoly on the casting here for SNSD's inevitable victory. It's impending, I can feel it in my bones here. It's going to be big plays in the next two minutes as Europe just crush America. It's going to be an absolute collapse here from Ginyu Force. I've seen the signs, DJC. A seagull just perched on my shoulder and told me so. <laughs> Kiddus is moving in, he is getting a lot of damage off here. Dewatna and TM4 actually getting it dropped on the Super Kiddus, jumping up to deal with the soldier. Hits the nice pill on him, Alex gonna get the cleanup, so there is a chance now. This could happen, the Seagull may have given the inspiration required. Uh, Overseer is still alive though, so heals are up, but Alex gonna get domed by Max. Cart's gonna get captured, the Pyro flank from Huey Lewis, but knows with the excellent Extinguish. Three down right now for Guinea Force. Sentry Gun is up. Soldier is in the last. Linus trying to make it happen. Gonna eat the steak. He's gonna go down. And this cart needs to get pushed hard, fast, and furious here. Saba Saba, I think, wants to make this play. He needs to be the game saver right now. Gonna eat a long distance rocket. Pyro is up. Saba Saba forced to retreat from his position. And what do you think is gonna happen here, Admiral? Down to one minute and Mike is gonna headshot left. somebody. Mike is gonna headshot somebody. I'm waiting for it. He's respawned and I'm watching him with uh, trepidation DJC as he's trying to pick Cadis here. He's just doing damage, but they're going to wait for that Uber charge and wisely so, but it's going to be pretty much an Uber versus Uber battle here. Frank West is back at the scene having respawned. He's going to work the map room side, but I reckon the Uber push is going to happen before then. Uber popped off here for Europe and the Americans, they're still holding on to it. This is grim. There's only 40 seconds left in the clock. The Uber does come in. How many players will SNSD lose in this repush? The sucker, he's managed to surf away on a sticky and a prayer on the wings of a seagull. He survived. This could be what they need here. Three players down right now for Ginyu Force. I believe in you, SNSD. You gotta go. You can't wait for that Uber. It's 25 seconds here. Kiris with the big bomb in. No, he fakes me out. And it moves over onto the flank here. He's going to go down to the lower angle. He's taking the attention of two players here, but Frank West is finding him. And Kiedis doesn't see him. That's going to be vital. Kiedis, big play denied by the backstab of Frank West. Uh-oh, DJC. And the only man left alive is Saba Saba. Can he get the seven stab? The legendary, the mythical seven kill. He needs to do it. He's going to go for the medic. Takes over to down. Surfs away. But James, we have seen it. The first map of this best of three series. The Europeans have fallen. How do you feel, Jimmy? TJC, imagine your world being turned upside down, your core beliefs being flipped in their head, and <sighs> being made to look foolish live in front of over 2,000 viewers on the internet. SNSD, what are you doing to me?